Hi, this is Dennis. I had some questions from a few students about converting decimal to binary, decimal to hex, and vice versa. So I thought it might be a little helpful if I just built a little table here. So what I did is I listed my base 2 across the board, and then I raised it to the powers. So 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 9th is this, 2 to the 10th is this, and I can continue this out. So let's try to convert using this table a decimal number to a binary number. So let's take a simple number like 17. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the first number below 17. So here's 32, that's not it. 16. So I need one of these. So right now I have accounted for 16. I have a remainder of one. So none of these, none of these, none of these, and one of these. So therefore, the binary number for 17 decimal is 10001. 10001. You go to the Google and you could find a quick binary to decimal to binary, decimal to hex, any any direction uh, conversion. So we'll just use this calculator and compare it to my 17. So 17, if I convert it, is one, three zeros, and a one. Let's go back over here and make sure that's what we got. So over here, we got one, three zeros, and a one. So I'm going to try this again. So I'm going to take a decimal 987. I'm going to convert it to binary. So when I convert it, I get 11190110111. Let's see if we can convert that using my table and get the same answer. So I'm going to type the number 987, and I'm going to convert it. So there is none of these, and then there's going to be one of these. So now my balance is this number. I'm going to have one of these. Now my balance is this number. I'm going to have one of these. Now my balance is this number. I'm going to have one of these. Now I have 27, so I have none of these. One of these. I'm down to 11. I need an 8. I'm down to 3, so no 4s. Uh, 1, 2, and 1, 1. So the result is one 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 four ones a zero two ones a zero and two ones. So let's go see if that's what we got over here. Four ones a zero, two ones a zero and two ones. Perfect. Um, so that's one way to do it. There are mathematical equations you could do this too, but just wanted to show you maybe a different view of how to do this conversion. So now I'm going to do the same thing with hexadecimal. Well, let's kind of do the exact same thing with decimal to hex. What I did is I wrote my base 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, raised it to the power of 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, and then I raised, then I did the math. So 16 to the 0 is 1, 16 to the 1 is 16, 16 to the 2 is this, 16 to 3 is this, 16 raised to the power of 4 is that, all the way across the board. So let's use this table to convert, let's say, a decimal number uh, 111. So 111. So I come over here to the right and I say, well, I don't have any of these, so I have to have at least maybe some of those. So there, I got four 16s. Well, that still leaves me a remainder of 47, so I got to go a little higher. So let's just say I go high, too high, and now I have a negative number. So I go to the first number below negative, so one more. I need six of those, and now I have to count for 15 more, and then I need 15 of these. So it looks like the number is 615. Well, 15 is an F, so this should be 6 and then an F. Let's see if that's the case using the calculator. Using the calculator. So let's jump over here, and here's my decimal to hex conver conversion, and I'm going to type in the number 111 like I had uh, on the other screen, 111, and I'm going to say convert, and notice I get 6F, 6F, which is what I had on the other side. So let's do this again with 98765. 98765, when I convert that, I get 181CD. Let's see if I can do okay, So in this example, the first thing I'm going to do is just clear everything out. So nothing, nothing. I'm going to zero these out. Uh, zero and zero, and then I'm just going to clear this out and this out. Okay, I'm going to start scratch. So the number I want to convert is 98765. 98765. So I have none, 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 none. So 98 
a thousand. So it looks like I'm going to have one of these. Let's press a two and notice I have a negative number. When I press a one, I have a positive number. So now I'm down to 33,000. Uh, 227. So let's say about seven of these. Maybe I better go a little bit more. Ten. Too much. We'll go to eight. Let's try nine. And nine is too much. So eight is it. Because this is still a positive number. When I go anything higher, it becomes negative. So now I'm down to 461. Well, I could already see I need one of these, not two. So I'll go one. And now I'm down to 205. So down to 205, let me put five of these, let me put six of these, let me put eight of these, let me put 12 of these. And 12 is the magic number because this number is less than 16. So I'm going to need 12 of these, remainder of 13. So this is my answer. It is 1, 8, 1, 12, 13. So I now transpose this into 1, 8, 1. 12 is a C, this is a C. And 13 is a D, is a D. So it is 18 1 C D. 18 1 C D. Let me fly back over to the other screen. And if you look, 18 1 C D. One more time and then it'll be it. Uh, 78787. 7, 7. So let's convert 78, 78, 78. What the heck? So there's the answer. There's the answer. And let's go back to the other screen and do it one more time. So Let's clear everything out. The number we're converting is 78, 78, 78. And I want to clear these, zero everything out again. So I'll just zero everything out. And oops, I'll just zero everything out. And I'll blank everything out down here. All right, let's do it one last time so you can watch it work. So I have 787,000. So this is too much. Let's try this. Can I get two of these in here? I can. Can I get three of these in here? I can. Can I get 10 of these in here? I can. Can I get 15 of these in here? I can't. So let's go 14, 12, and it looks like 12 is my magic number, just because I don't feel like doing the math. 13 is too many. So 12 leaves me uh, 1,446. So I know I have no none of these, and now I'm going to maybe have four or five of these, maybe six of these, five of these. So now I'm down to 166. So let's go five of these, let's go seven of these, let's go eight of these, let's go nine of these, let's go ten of these, and now I'm down to six, and that's it. So now my balance is zero. So this is this number converted, and this is what it looks like. I start with a 12, 12 is the letter C, so a C, a zero, a five, the 10 converts to an A, so I put an A, and the 6 stays a 6. So 78, 78, 78 is converted into hex CO5A6. CO5A6. Let's see if that's what we got on the other screen. Uh, and hopefully we did. Hopefully we did. So I'm going to fly over here. CO5A6. Okay. Lots of ways to do this, and there's a lot of math ways to do it. Just wanted to kind of manually show it to you, see if that helped. That's all I got for now. Have a good